Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2024. Hello, hello, happy 2024. I hope you guys have had a great December and a holiday and break if you had one or vacations or whatever you were doing in December. I hope that was a good one and I hope that you are back into the grind of things and getting off to a good start here in 2024. I'm really, really excited for today's video. It is my absolute favorite video to make every single year. I've done them now for the past uh, two, three, maybe even four years ago. Um, and that is my favorite bags of the previous year. So today we're talking all about my favorite top most used bags of 2023. All right, so how today's video is going to work. I have broken down my favorite bags into four main categories because we all know I have a lot and I have a lot of favorites. And just because a bag doesn't make today's cut doesn't mean that A, I don't still have it in my collection or B, I don't still love it. I just had to narrow it down somehow. So I broke it down into four categories. We're gonna be talking about my top crossbody bags, sling bags, tote bags, and backpacks. So four different categories, and I have chosen five bags for each category. Yes, if you do the math, that's 20 bags I'm gonna be sharing with you. <laughs> that's a lot of bags, I know. So today's video, I'm going to try my hardest to go super, super fast and buzz through each and every one of them so that this video isn't forever long. Most of these bags, most of them, I have individual, at least unboxings, packing videos, on the body videos, something of that sorts for these bags. If I don't, it means that it's like a newer bag to me, possibly in the last 30 days that you guys haven't seen yet. And that review will definitely be coming, but I'm going to have my blog post all about today's video pinned in the comment section, as well as down in the description box. On that blog post, it's gonna have so much information. It's gonna have links to everything that I share today. It's gonna have corresponding videos if there are any. And there may be some like honorable mentions that didn't make the video, but I wanted to make sure um, that you guys knew they were like my favorites. So definitely check out that blog post for all of the information um, about these bags that I'm sharing today. Also stay tuned to the end of the week where I'm going to be doing the same type of video, but I'm gonna be narrowing it down to my favorite wallets and pouches. I felt like this video was gonna be way too long if I tried to include like smaller accessories and actual bags in the same one. So we're gonna do this all over again at the end of the week, but with those items. Let's start off by talking about crossbody bags. Now these bags are in no particular order. I have chosen these bags, they've made the cut, don't make me narrow them down any further. <laughs> so here are my top crossbody bags. Coming in at the first one is this MZ Wallace Small Sutton Deluxe. Now this could easily just be like a handbag carry, obviously just like this over the crook of your arm. I love this bag for so many different reasons. This is one of those that has made this cuts video over and over and over again. There's a couple of them I think that you're gonna see from years past that I just, can't get over it. They're, they're my favorite bags every, every year. And this one definitely makes the cut every single time. I love how you can um, clip down the sides of the bag to kind of give it this cute little silhouette. I love that this is a staple item from MZ Wallace and they always have new colors and prints and patterns. It's like one of those tried and true like styles that you can always expect from them. So um, you can make this obviously a crossbody bag since it's in this category by unclipping the side um, of the bag here and attaching the messenger strap. So this one um, definitely made the cut as far as crossbody bags. I'm not sure if this color is still available. If it is, um, I will go ahead and do an updated packing video, I think here in the coming weeks. When I was looking back at my old videos, I realized I haven't done a small Sutton one in a while. So I think this one is gonna be one that I'm gonna need to update for you guys soon. Second bag in the crossbody category is this beautiful Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I love this bag so much. I think this is the second year it's made the cut, but just barely, because I haven't had this one very long. Um, I've had it, a, I guess, a little over a year now. I love it. It is my favorite like luxury handbag. Um, definitely my favorite Louis Vuitton I think ever made. Um, I love how much it can hold, yet not look super big and bulky. 
I have used this so much and I absolutely love it. I can't recommend it enough. You can obviously just carry it just like this or it is a true crossbody bag that you can wear um, either over your shoulder or across the front of you. I love that this also comes in leather and a couple of other prints. It's like such a classic Louis Vuitton style um, that I absolutely love. Next three crossbody bags I have not done individual packing videos on and that is because I received these bags in the last 30 days when I was kind of taking a break here from YouTube and I haven't actually shared them yet, but they're so good that they have made today's video. <laughs> like, so I have not had them for that long, but they're, they're some of my favorite, favorite bags. First one up here is this crossbody bag from Ondar. It is the first time that they've released anything like this and it's sold out immediately. I grabbed it on launch day. I knew I wanted to try it. It was just like a perfect, like style and look. It reminded me a lot kind of of the structure of this Pochette Matisse and I knew that it was going to be one that I loved. Um, they are, I think they have a pre-order open for this one right now and um, I believe they're going to be uh, launching it again in the next coming months or weeks. I'm crossing my fingers that they release it in more colors. Not that I don't love a good like classic black handbag. I would love it in other colors. I like it that much. I like how structured it is. Um, it has one big kind of opening. It's like simple and easy. It has a zipper pocket. It holds a ton. You have a little flap here on the back of the bag and it is just the cutest crossbody. You can adjust it and I am in love with it. The next bag here is from one of my favorite companies that I share and talk about a lot and that is Mina Bay and this is their Chloe crossbody bag. I think this one is such a good one. I know it's similar to the Livy, I believe is what it's called. I've never had that one. Um, that one I think it does have straps that you can take off and kind of um, change up or adjust on the bag. This one has straps that are stationary to it and I love it. I love that you can adjust the side here to make it shorter or longer. I am very, very short obviously. And I think that it hits me at a really like comfortable, nice length. I like that the strap's a little bit thicker. I could go on and on. Again, I haven't done like an individual packing video on this one, but it's definitely coming soon because I think that it is one that you guys are going to love. Um, just like all of Meet and Bay bags, there, there are some really good like internal organization on this one too. So it is like an awesome like staple yummy leather piece for your collection. Last but not least was a gift from my husband for Christmas and I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. It was a bag that was not even on my radar. It's one that he saw and picked out because he thought that I would like it and he, he was right. <laughs> he definitely was right. And that is this YSL micro camera bag. I have never had a YSL bag. Um, they've kind of been on my radar, but I haven't really looked into the brand a lot. And now since getting this one, it, it there are some really awesome bags from that company that I definitely have on my bucket or like wish list. Um, but this one here is so perfect for like a date night, for a travel bag. Um, we went to New Orleans for, um, uh, I almost said 4th of July, for New Year's. <laughs> We went to the uh, Sugar Bowl up there and we spent New Year's there and I carried this bag the entire time I was there and I loved it. Inside is very, very simple. There's just one little area kind of on the back that you can actually put cards. I don't know if you can see it because it's black, but there's like a card slots in there and it is just the perfect size to hold like the bare minimum that you need. I never thought that I needed a bag this small in my life because I carry big bags, as you guys know, typically. Um, but this one is so good. The strap is a really nice length. Again, I'm pretty short, but it hits me at a very comfortable spot. I love this chain strap and like that there's like a little leather piece at the top for where it kind of hits over your shoulder. There's a small little pocket here on the back of the bag, but to be honest, it's not really functional. <laughs> like I can't really put much in it, um, but it's good to kind of throw, I don't know, little papers or receipts or something. But this one I will definitely be sharing more of. Um, I, I love it. <laughs> Moving on to the next category and that is sling bags. And I think it is no surprise that this one makes the cut. I know I said I wasn't gonna narrow it down any further than this video, but if I had to, if you guys like forced me <laughs> to pick my absolute favorite sling bag, this is the one. This is the one right here. It is the MZ Wallace Crosby sling bag. 
I know, shocker, like you guys are not surprised on this, but I love this bag so much. I recommend it anytime somebody messages me or sends me an email and they're deciding between different ones or they just wanna know what I would recommend for this outing or this travel or what have you, it's always this one. It's always this one. I think that it is such a functional bag that you can use for long days out, for travel. It's the perfect everyday bag. I love that there's multiple ways that you can kind of wear it. It's a sling slash crossbody um, in, I guess, the title for MZ Walls. I always wear it as a traditional sling bag. It comes with a chain strap, a longer seatbelt strap. It even has a shorter one that you can kind of wear it around your waist as like a fanny pack. I have tons of videos on this. Again, they'll be linked in the blog post. But this black one here, I've had for the longest and it has worn in so nice and soft and the material is just awesome over time. I use this one the most and I tend to buy others as they come out <laughs> if I like them. Um, this buff one is another favorite of mine, especially in the summertime. And then I really like this pink camo print. Haven't used this one as much if I'm being honest, but I think it's so beautiful and I really like having it. So these are the three that I have in the um, Crosby sling bag from MZ Wallace. Now they did just recently release this bag in a small version and I'm equally as obsessed with that one. I actually have two different ones in the smaller size, but this leather one is definitely my absolute favorite. This is such a classic bag. I love MZ Wallace's leather. I think it's so soft and squishy, and this one is just a really kind of perfect size for every day. If I had to pick between the small and the regular size, I definitely would go with the regular size if you only had like one of them because I think it's just a little bit more functional size-wise, but this one is so, so good. And I'm crossing my fingers that they release it in like a fun, bright color for spring. The next bag in this category is from Ondar and it is a leather belt bag or sling bag. I always wear it kind of as a traditional sling bag and that is the indie bag. I've had this one for a while and it wears in so nicely. It's kind of like an elevated classy version of the Lululemon 1L belt bag. Um, it's about the same size if I'm being honest, but I just love the leather. If I mean, leather is like my favorite type of material, especially on bags like this that are gonna really wear in over time. I love the contrasting strap. I like that it's like this seatbelt kind of canvas material. Um, the hardware is really cool on this bag and the inside opens up super big. So you can easily get everything that you need in and out of this one. You have a couple of pockets and um, a front zipper pocket as well. So. I love this one and I use it a ton. Speaking of Lululemon, my favorite, favorite belt bag from them slash sling bag is this traditional belt bag, but in the 2L size. So this indie here, I think is a little bit closer to the 1L size. Again, these are two kind of totally different bags and it's leather versus this nylon material. But I love the Lululemon belt bags, especially for anything like outdoors, they wear really, really well. You can kind of use them as a casual everyday bag. Um, I've taken them hiking, I've taken them to theme parks. They're just really, really functional. It is definitely one of my favorite sling bags. Um, but again, in this 2L size, um, I definitely would do the larger of the two. I don't think on the body it's that much different, but it holds a good amount more in my opinion. On the back here, you have a nice big zipper pocket. I just I just got this one. Obviously, you can see with the tags on it. I've had a ton of different colors of these. I tend to like circulate them out, um, but this is one that I just recently got in like a couple days ago. It's a new, I wanna say the color Storm. It's like a teal color. If I can find the color name, I'll put it down below. I know some of you might ask me. Um, but on the inside, of course, you just have a couple standard pockets and it is just, it's a good one. It definitely makes the list. Next sling bag is by Claire V and I shared this one this year back in the fall time. It is like the perfect fall sling, but it comes in a ton of different colors. A um, couple different materials, I believe. This is the only thing I have from this brand and I've been really, really impressed with it. The hardware is really nice. The zippers are super smooth. I love the contrasting red zipper. The inside is just open. There's no pockets or anything. I'm not sure if there's possibly pockets in like another material or something like that. This one you can kind of see through it just barely. 
Um, but I love it. I love that it's different. Um, I like the softness of it. I like the overall style. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I definitely want to try a couple other bags by this brand kind of in the coming year. There's a few that I have my eye on. Last one in the sling category is this Cali sling from Latico Leather. And this is probably like the softest bag I think that I own. <laughs> I love this sling. It is so comfortable to wear on the body. I like how nice and um, wide this strap is for the bag. Like it's not like crazy wide, but it's like got a nice width to it to where it's really comfortable to wear over your shoulder. Um, you can easily adjust it. And this bag has a couple of features that I really, really like, especially when you're wearing it. You can get stuff in and out of it super easily. But one of those features is this zipper here on the side of the bag. You can put your keys, your cell phone, and there's one actually on both sides. So depending on whatever way you wear the sling, um, it opens up nice and big and it can hold a ton, like a lot in this bag. This one here holds about what I think the MZ Wallace Crosby sling does, maybe about the same amount. This one might even hold just a little bit more. So um, you can definitely wear it a little bit lower and wear it kind of more as a crossbody. I like to wear mine tighter kind of against the chest as a sling bag, but as you can see, it's it's a pretty big one. So if you're looking for a big sling that's really, really soft, <laughs> this is a great choice. All right, I know I said I was only gonna pick five in each category, but I have one extra one in this one because I love it also so much. And that is this Louis Vuitton high rise ba belt bag, high rise bag. I think it's just called a high rise bag, but it's like a traditional sling bag like this. I love this bag from Louis Vuitton, not as much as the Pachette Matisse. That's still like my number one, um, uh, Louis Vuitton bag as far as favorites, but this one I think is such a good one. I love it so much more than their old like traditional bum bag. Um, I think it's just really classy looking. I love that you can kind of switch the straps out if you want. I've actually been able to use this strap on other Louis Vuitton bags and they're just it's kind of versatile in that way. You have a nice zipper back here on the back and I just love the overall look of this bag. So I had to kind of sneak it in there. All right, moving on to the next category, and that is tote bags. First up on the list is this MZ Wallace Metro Tote. This here is in the medium size, and it's the size that I probably recommend the most whenever I get like messages or things like that. It is probably my favorite, most versatile size in all of the different sizes that they have, um, just because it's like a really good kind of everyday size, yet it holds a lot, so you can use it for travel. You could use it as a diaper bag, a work bag, um, on the back here, you do have a luggage sleeve for when you're traveling. This here is the beautiful walnut color that they released back kind of in the fall time. I don't believe that they have it anymore, um, but I love this bag. I believe I did a, I've done a number of reviews on the MZ Wallace Metro collection. I've done the small, which is in this magnet color. One of the things, total like <laughs> distraction now when I pick this up. Um, one of the things I love about these Metro bags is you can fold them up really, really small and kind of put them inside the pouch that comes with the bag. So like this one here is the small and then this here is actually the large. <laughs> so as you can see, they're obviously a little bit bigger in size and then the medium one kind of folds up just like that. Um, I have done a review on all different sizes of the Metro bags. I'm not sure. I think I've done a like packing comparison of the small versus the medium. Um, I don't know that I've done a full comparison of like all of them in one video. That could be something we could look into if you guys are interested in that, but I can't say enough about the Metro bags from MZ Wallace. They're like my oldest, most favorite totes ever. You have tons of different like zipper pockets. Um, I like to pack them with pouches, just kind of keeps them nice and organized. Um, you have tote straps obviously with it, and then it does come um, with this crossbody strap. So when you're traveling or in and out of airports or like carry on bags, you can easily be like completely hands-free with it as well. So. This one um, is definitely one of my most recommended <laughs> tote bags. Up next is my favorite tote from Rothy's and that is the Essential Tote. This one has definitely made the cut in years past. I love this dragon fruit color. I don't think they have this one 
for sale anymore. They did for a really long time. Maybe they'll bring it back in the spring, but they always release new colors, new prints. They had this one in like a reversible print, which was really cool because you kind of got two different looks for the price of one. Um, but I love this bag. It's kind of one of those that if I'm like in a hurry to get out the door and I'm like, I don't know what I need. I'm like, just need a bag to kind of throw everything in. This one's usually one that I grab for. I can throw like my book, my planner, all my things, and then still put like a sling bag inside so that I can just grab that out of here if I need to. It's great for like renting out the door to kids sports and um, things like that. It's just super versatile. Rothy's bags are machine washable too, which I can definitely say I have gotten stains on them and they have come out completely like clear in the wash. Like it's, it's really, it's really actually amazing how well the Rothy stuff washes up. Um, but this one here is the essential tote. I love a lot of different styles from Rothy's. This one probably has to be my favorite though. Up next is a tote that I shared briefly in a unboxing video, I believe, but that was kind of right in November, kind of before I took my little break here in December. So I haven't done a detailed packing video on this one. And I also really want to compare this one to an MZ Wallace um, Metro bag. And that is this St. Bart's tote from Negetti. I love this bag so much. I've used it actually a good bit. I have it here in the, oh, forgive me. I think this is the medium size. Um, and then I also have this petite size. Don't quote me on the sizes. I don't know this brand that well yet. Um, but this one here does not have the crossbody strap option, whereas this smaller one here does. Um, I believe there's maybe two sizes that have a crossbody option. Um, and then this is the medium. I think there's a larger one still like this too. So these are neoprene material. They're really comfortable. Um, they are gonna wear really well in weather. I've had this one out in the rain. It's done nothing to it. Um, but it is just one big open, like a bucket type tote. There's no closure whatsoever on it. So if that's something that kind of bugs you, um, I definitely would probably stay away from this one. As you guys know, I keep the tops of all of my totes open nine times out of 10 when I use them anyways. So this one is just kind of perfect for me. This is a great big size. I believe in my opinion that it's super close to the MC Wallace small Metro tote as far as like size wise and kind of the vibe of the bag. Um, this one here is definitely smaller. It's so cute and compact and you can wear it crossbody. It's a good kind of little like everyday bag. So Negetti is definitely a brand you'll be seeing more of in 2024. I just had to give my dog a treat because <laughs> she was starting to get loud with me. So if you hear any like chewing in the background, I'm sorry, that's her eating her, eating her bones so that I can get through this video. Okay. Up next for totes is another MZ Wallace style. And that is the large box tote. I have the large and I have the medium and out of the two, I use this large one a ton. And the times that I use it the most is obviously for travel because it is such a large bag, but I've used this as a carry-on. I've used this as a weekend bag, just like solely by itself. It held everything that I needed, like a small cosmetic bag, a change of clothes, shoes, and even like a hair straightener. Um, it is such a great size. I love that it has these kind of grab like tote handles, and then it also has this optional like crossbody strap, should you want to throw it over your shoulder or something like that. Um, I cannot say enough about this. And when I first got it, I wasn't sure if I was going to be using it a ton just because of the size of it. It is really, really big. Um, I think it would be a great diaper bag actually for those of you that pack a lot. Um, I think it would be great as a work bag, as a teacher bag, like a commuter type bag, cause you can put like a lunchbox and notebooks and all the things inside. You have these um, zipper pockets here kind of on the outside of the bag. Um, I'm pretty sure I've done a full packing video on this one. I know I've talked about it a bunch here on my channel. Yeah, I did a full packing video. Again, I'll make sure to link it in the blog post. Um, but this one was surprisingly one of my favorite totes this year and most used. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. I actually think it's one of my favorite like carry on type tote styles. Last but not least in this tote category is one that you guys haven't seen yet because I got it in the month of December, so I haven't had a chance to share it yet, but I most certainly will be doing a packing video here in the coming weeks. But that is this bag by Hammett. It is the large Daniel bag. And this one leans a little pricier in my opinion for what it is, but after getting it, I think it is worth it. I really do. I love the material of this particular one. Um, it's like almost, it's not, it's leather, but it's, I don't know what kind of leather it is. It's like a, 
kind of a almost suede feeling, but it's not suede. I know that's a horrible explanation. Um, but typically this bag, bag comes in all different types and colors of leather. Um, I think it is such an awesome tote. I love this size. I would probably go with the large size over the medium, not seeing the medium. I just don't think this large is massively large, if that makes sense. So I would go this route. Um, I got this one during the Black Friday sale that they have. I believe it's like a once or maybe twice a year sale for Hammett that they discount some of their colors that are coming out of season. So that's when I picked up this one. And then I also picked up this little Levy wallet um, crossbody situation that kind of matches it, which I'll be sharing in the coming days. This one, as you can see, is actually the one that I'm currently in. Been using it here for a while, um, but I can't say enough about it. I actually really, really like this tote. Um, I like these smaller like handles here of the bag. I love that you can wear it crossbody. I like all of the hardware on it. I think it is an absolute fantastic tote bag. Um, I can't wait to share more details of this one with you guys. All right, moving on to our final category, and that is backpacks. The first one here on the list is this MZ Wallace Crosby backpack. I've had this one for a pretty long time, and it still stands as one of my favorite backpacks. <laughs> like, of all time, definitely probably my favorite backpack from MZ Wallace. I absolutely love it. I love that the grab handle is like this classic chain. I took this um, over New Year's when we went to New Orleans and up here in the front I had that YSL crossbody. Like it fit perfectly in this like front pocket. I was able to kind of grab it out and get whatever I needed. Um, this one's still kind of packed from that trip. I haven't fully unpacked it yet, um, but it's really comfortable. It has a luggage sleeve here on the back of it. I could go on and on about it. So many pockets, it has a laptop sleeve. Again, the more and more that you use and wear this Metro material from MZ Wallace, it just becomes super soft and comfortable. And in my opinion, it wears really, really well. So this one here made the list again this year. Speaking of MZ Wallace backpacks, another one that made the cut is this pocket backpack in the color denim. Not sure if they have this color anymore. They might. I, I'm not sure if they sold out of it. I got this one, I believe over the summer um, was when I grabbed this one for the first time and it's been one that I've grabbed for over and over again. I actually really like that the pockets on the side zip completely closed because I feel like I use them more for things that I need to grab for quickly as opposed to like the open pockets like that that Crosby one has and a traditional backpack has. I can put like my wallet in here and it's just a little bit more secure. My phone, obviously chapstick, hand sanitizer, all the things that you need to like kind of grab for quickly and you still have this nice pocket in the front. The inside is nice and spacious. You have a laptop sleeve, couple of pockets. It's just a really, really good one. You also have a luggage sleeve on the back. So if you're using it for travel, this would be another great option. Um, I love the pocket backpack. I, gosh, I believe, I keep thinking now when I'm pulling these out, I'm like, did I do an actual packing video on this one? I'm surely I did. If not, um, I definitely will. Next up is another backpack that I've had for an awful long time, and that is this Dagny Dover Dakota backpack in the size medium. Now I have had all the different sizes and styles of Dagny Dover backpacks, and this medium size is hands down my favorite. I feel like the small is too small, um, for me at least, and then I feel like the large is too large for everyday use, but not quite big enough for travel, if that makes any sense. My son actually uses the large Dakota backpack for school, and he's in high school. It's actually a great size for him for school. He's able to put like his gym clothes in there, his like practice clothes for football, like he's able to put those in there, a lunchbox, and books for school, like all of that in one. He doesn't carry an iPad or laptop um, or anything like that, but the large Dakota does have that kind of separate compartment if you're looking for that, but I digress. <laughs> Hands down, my favorite style from Dagny Dover is this medium size. I just think it's the perfect everyday size. I love this gray color. It's like one of their classic colors. I've had a couple of different colors over the years. This is one that I've actually sold and bought back, believe it or not. And I have not like parted with it since I've done that. <laughs> Once I let it go, I was like, you know what? I actually really, really like that medium Dakota, and I like it in this classic gray. So I've had it for a while. I love that it's kind of like heathered looking. Um, and this one also has a luggage sleeve in the back. You have a laptop sleeve inside. It is a, it's a great backpack. I love it. The next backpack here is by Nina Bay and it is the Kenny backpack and it is the full size Kenny. I believe they have a 
midi size, if not also a small size, I'm not sure, <laughs> but I actually have only had this size and I love this backpack. I've traveled with it a bunch. I've used it a bunch. I love how classic and beautiful it is. This is the tan vegan leather. I believe this backpack comes also in a leather option. Don't quote me on that. It's hard to kind of keep up with all the different styles, but I love this tan color um, or Terra, I believe is exactly what it's called. You have a luggage sleeve here on the back. Um, the inside is like an organizer's dream. Like it is so, so good. I actually have a couple of different, I have all the different straps in here. I have one of their sold separately straps that I like to use with it. Um, but you do have a laptop sleeve in there. You have tons of different pockets in there. It is, it's awesome. It's awesome obviously as like a diaper bag, as a work bag, as an everyday bag. Um, one of the things that I really like about this one is you can wear it over your shoulder if you didn't want to necessarily use it as, um, say like a backpack, if you wanted it to be like a convertible option, you could do that as well. You could wear it crossbody. Um, I have a little sold separately tassel on mine because I've kind of added some things to it. But this one is really, really good. It's just kind of like a classy backpack. <laughs> All right, last but certainly not least in this category and in the whole video <laughs> are um, these two backpacks from Ondar. I couldn't pick my favorite out of the two and I knew that I wanted them to kind of make the cut as far as a favorite video because I do kind of go back and forth between the two of them. This here is the Brooklyn style and I believe this leather color is timber. It's like a darker, um, really yummy like leather. And this one here is the Addison in the sand color. And I've done a review on the Addison as well as the mini Addison. I love the actual, like the full size Addison size in comparison to the small Addison. I think the small Addison's a little bit small for me. Again, I like a bigger bag. Um, so this one here is like the perfect size. I feel like the two of these are really similar in the way that they pack. The Addison might be like a smidge bigger, I think, than this Brooklyn, but I do really like the buckle on this one. Um, they're just great kind of classic everyday type backpacks to just kind of throw and go with. Um, I don't know that I would use either of these for travel because they're not quite big enough for me for travel, um, but they're the perfect everyday backpack. I love using them. I love Ondar's leather. <laughs> As you can see, they've Ondar's made a couple different categories actually today. Um, so. I really like the brand um, and the leather is just top notch. So I definitely would recommend either of these backpacks. I think I probably need to record a comparison of the two here in the coming weeks. I think that video would be really helpful. All right, I think that does it for today's video. If you have stuck through this entire video here till the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was interesting, helpful. I hope it kind of gave you some ideas of maybe new bags that you wanna try. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I'm always happy to chat bags or help if I can in any way. Um, just as a reminder, I will have the blog post for today's video linked in the description box and also um, in the comments kind of pinned at the top so that you can find it super easy and find any other details that you would need like <laughs> that goes with any of the bags that I shared today. So, um, but until my next video, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon, bye.